All right, time for a road trip. This time, Melbourne to Canberra. Let's do this. Welcome everyone, my name is Chris and well this show has been brought to you by Tesla Taxi Australia. Now if you're in the market for an EV and you're thinking, what are what Tesla is like? Well, hit these guys up because in Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, Victoria and South Australia, you can rent a Tesla like Model X, S or 3 and give it a go for a day, two days, seven days, whatever works out for you. So use my referral link down below to save yourself a bit of money and yeah, check these guys out. And any Tesla owners out there, hit these guys up too because plenty of Australians want to hire out the Tesla. All right, let's talk about today's trip. I've just finished work. It's like, oh, no watch on. Three o'clock in the afternoon or so, and I'm going to drive straight to Canberra now. Is this going to be possible? Yeah, very much. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus will do about 400 kilometers on one charge. So this is going to be an efficiency driving test. Yeah. I have a guesstimate now as to how it's going to go. Put your comment down below. What's my watt hours per kilometer figure going to be? I think about 135. Will I be right? Will I be wrong? I'm going to do the speed limit. The weather is turning quite foul out there, so it's going to be raining and it's getting very windy. So who knows? But nonetheless, let's get on the road because I'm going to be getting to uh, Canberra at this stage at midnight. Okay, we're in the car and I'll switch to the other cameras, so there'll be a bit difference in color. Let's do this. Uh, let's have a bit of fun first though. Navigate me to Canberra. <laughs> it thinks I want to go to Cambridge. Cambridge, the UK. That's not going to work. Let's try that one more time, then I'm going to type it. Navigate me to Canberra. Yes. There we go. So what it's going to do now is going to plot from my place to Canberra and if we need to stop anywhere for supercharging and stuff, we will, uh, it will put that into the whole equation. So let's have a look what's happened. Alrighty, so it's saying our first stop is going to be in Euroa and that's going to take us up to about almost 6 p.m. and we'll arrive with 42% state of charge. Oh yeah, we're starting with 90% state of charge so let me just do that. Uh, reset. And this is going to be Canberra. All right, if you hire this car out and you see Canberra on the screen, you know I actually had this car. Yeah. All right, so reset the odometer. Lovely. That's going to track how um, kilowatt hours and our watt hours per kilometer. Fantastic. So, Melbourne from Melbourne to Euroa, uh, right with 42% right state of charge. 10 minute supercharge there only. Next stop's gonna be Wodonga at 7.30 and there's gonna be 25 minute charge. So I have dinner in Wodonga. Yes, I know a great burger place there, so I'll share that with you along the way. Then we'll get to uh, Gundagai in New South Wales, have a 20 minute charge there and finish in Canberra with 18% set of charge. So remember those figures. I'll take a quick little shot now so I can remember them myself and let's get on the road. Well, I'm not going to need these. Had a great little bit of rain and, well, yeah, it's overcast. Um, we've hit traffic and it says 14 minutes to the Hume Freeway. Great. That's exactly what I don't need. Um, the time on the... Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to hold that. Um, I haven't been able to secure this camera very well and it keeps falling over. So, yikes. Now, this is where uh, autopilot is awesome because literally it's doing the accelerating, it's doing the braking, it's doing the steering and well all I do is I just leave a hand on the wheel and that's it. I just monitor the situation. It's bloody awesome. It really is. Like of all the cars that I've driven in my life this is uh, th this is the best system and sure it's only level 2 autonomy but the the the, un, the engineering abilities behind Tesla. A lot of other car makers have got a long way to go to catch up to this. I really do. Okay, status update. Um, 
it's raining out, raining down cats and dogs. I just saw some light, it was quite spectacular. Um, we've done 57 kilometers and I'm about an hour out, an hour away from Euroa. But it's saying I'm doing uh, 160 watt hours per kilometer. So kind of a bit thirsty. Um, but we'll ride with plenty of charge. Uh, that's to Euroa. Obviously this rain is not helping, it's very windy and uh, that traffic back there was terrible. Like, it was stop-start traffic for about half an hour. So, yeah, down the brakes. Um, autopilot is holding for a champ. It's like pea soup out there, and somehow it thinks it's okay, and it still says it's available. So I trust it. Um, and yeah, I've just increased my distance from the other cars at six length because I guarantee it's slippery out there. And it kind of scares me how some people drive, like that they still maintain the same distance that they normally do. And it's kind of like, dude, you haven't got the traction you normally do. I digress. Anyway, it's going to get dark because of all this rain. So I think next time I update you, will be in your own. Okay, we've arrived in Rura and we got here with 39% state of charge. Well, nothing's better than what it's going to anticipate. Could be wrong. I'll correct myself <laughs> in the edit. Um, we did only 151 watt hours per kilometer, so not so good, but again, stops out traffic, rainy, windy, um, and it's looking a little bit better, but I think this weather's going to chase me all the way up to Canberra. All right, so I'm going to charge supposedly for 15 minutes and we'll get a move on. A few moments later. Let's get going because um, I need a coffee. I really do need a coffee. And uh, yeah, at this stage I'm getting into Canberra, still at midnight. Okay, we are now in Wodonga and it is raining cats and dogs out there and I stood in a huge puddle. That was not fun. Okay, so uh, that leg was 158 kilometers and we um, did, uh, we, we consumed rather, 28 kilowatt hours of energy. And um, that gave us a, a 179 watt hours per kilometer. Um, definitely very thirsty. Again, raining most, well, about three quarters of that journey. And so I've done some math and it's, and it's shocking. If let's pretend I'd filled this up to 100% and driven it right down to 0%, that would have only been 279 kilometers. So, um, yeah, not very good economy for that last leg. Um, now, my plan of going to get something yum from a local establishment is kind of shot. So, what I'm doing here is I've got to spend 25 minutes here supercharging. So, I'll do that and I'll drive and get some um, cheeky little takeaway and get that down my throat as quick as I can and can then keep moving. Um, so yeah, uh, this stage it, it says I'm gonna get to Canberra by 12.06 a.m. and uh, it's kind of fun actually watching the um, the thing flick over. It's, uh, so it's now saying um, if I was to depart for the next destination where we're gonna get supercharging from, it would only have 11% of, um, negative 11% of energy in the battery, which is to say, I would run well and truly short of uh, getting there. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that the weather is, it is what it is, because I might have actually um, gone to a charge fox instead. But then the brakes, right? Um, now, before I close out this little bit of the uh, chapter, what's with those bumpy noises like, like, uh, what's a good example? So I'm doing supercharging and it's, and it's kind of like metal bending sort of popping sound. It's like a popping metal sound. That's what it is. Uh, can someone please tell me what that is? Is that like the, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Is it the 
HVAC system, you know, keeping the battery at the right sort of temperature, and there's a lot of energy going in, so it's getting really, really hot, and then, meanwhile, the actual um, HVAC system is trying to cool that down, and there's a bit of a difference between the two, and the metal near it is bending and warping, and I don't know. I I'd like to hear from you. Tell me, tell me what you think it is. And, hey, if you haven't already, subscribe. It's free. It really does support the channel, and I seriously um, support it. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. And, shameless plug, if you're in the market for a Tesla model SX or 3, uh, use my referral link down below. Uh, it gives you 1500 kilometers of free supercharging and that way you pay it forward and you can use it for someone else who might actually go to get themselves a Tesla. Man, so there was basically no places I could pull into for that entire trip. Um, they, they were off the road a few kilometers or going into towns and I didn't want to do that because, well, it's getting late so I just want to get on with it. And uh, at one point, um, it said I had about 11% estimated on arrival again. And uh, so I figured if I pulled over, stopped for about 10, 15 minutes and had a drink and then, well, I'll be getting closer to that really scary uh, zero to 10% phase. Um, so I thought, nah, I'll just keep going, hoping that something would show up, and it, well, it didn't. And then just before Gundagai and South Gundagai, there was a Macca's on the other side of the road. And I, and the, I had like 15 kilometers left, and I thought, stuff it, I'm going here, and I'll do this. And well, here I am. So now I've got to go all the way over there. I'm gonna turn around so you can kind of get an idea. I'm gonna walk all the way over there. <laughs> to get me some food because I am starving. I had lunch like at midday. Um, so I'm going to leave the car there. You charge away, you good thing. So this is super annoying. Had a quick bite to eat and I thought, oh, I wonder what I've set the charge to. I might as well just, you know, stay here a bit longer. And then it's not been charging the whole time. So like 20 minutes wasted. All right, let's go do the handshake again. Yeah, look at that. This can happen. This can happen. All right. So I'm just going to do open port. Houston, we have a problem. All right, I'm going to. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the charging percentage. Try and convince this thing to get going. It's like 10.40 at night. It's bloody annoying. Start it again. I'm going to disconnect and change spots. Yes. Gosh, what a waste of time that was. Um, so, uh, part of me is thinking now I may as well sit in the car and watch YouTube or Netflix or something, but conversely, I've been sitting on my ass now for like five or six hours and I don't want to do that. So, I'm just going to stay out here and enjoy this kind of semi balmy night. It's about 20 degrees and my shirt's fine. And uh, wait for this car to charge. Um, I wonder how it's going in terms of destination. Let's go check that out. That, that's a relief. Only 15 minutes and I can get going again. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna stand up. Um, oh man. Uh, what time am I gonna get to Canberra at this stage? Probably 12, 30 at night. Yeah, great. Um, anyway, not much to say. I'm tired, I'm very tired. Been, been up since 6 a.m. So it's like an 18 and a half hour day. Final stretch. Now I'm undecided. Do I do the supercharging tonight so the car's ready and charged tomorrow? Or do I just go straight to the accommodation and um, basically yeah, have a nice sleep and then get up earlier to do the charging? 
I'm unsure. Right now, I feel very awake, but after an hour and a half of driving, I might change my mind. We'll see how we go. Good morning, and I'm in Canberra, and that's significant because, well, this this little territory is actually run on 100% renewable power, which, well, the lights are still on, and we survived overnight with no power from coal, grid, or nuclear. Huh, go figure. Anyway, um, so a few things I'm going to need to do today. Uh, I'm going to go in reverse order, and that is to drop off the car with 80% state of charge. So, we're going to go get some supercharging. Uh, before I do all that though, uh, I'm imagining right now my toiletries on the bench at home. <laughs> and so, when you've got braces and you don't brush your teeth, oh my gosh, it just feels yuck. Plus, I, you know, I've had a shower, but I haven't got deodorant, so I need to go get some toiletries. So, we're going to do that first charge up, drop the car off. Yeah. All right, let's move. Accidental reversal of itinerary today. I looked up supermarkets and it was only giving me like IGAs and some other minor ones and well, they didn't open until eight o'clock. So I figured I'll do supercharging and then go to the supermarket and drop the car off. Uh, but in doing so, there's a McDonald's here. There's actually lots of stuff around the supercharger, which is really great because I haven't had breakfast either. So let's get everything done really quickly. Yeah. Melbourne to Canberra, how do we go? Well, for 668 kilometers and 107 kilowatt hours of energy used, the car came out with a result of 161 watt hours per kilometer. Using a little bit of formula, little equation for you below, that would mean that it would have charged the car from zero to 100% and used that whole battery, we would get only 323 kilometers of range. Not even damn close range is way off the mark. If ever you're buying an EV, use the uh, American EPA method. And that is basically around about 400 kilometers per charge. So why the discrepancy? Because, well, last night, well, yesterday evening, I was doing, you know, almost all freeway driving. Um, there was that stop start stuff at the beginning with the really, really bad traffic. Um, it was raining, it was windy, and uh, yeah, going really fast and not stopping and starting an EV pushes the car to its utmost, okay? So this is really worst case scenario. If I was driving around home in the city, urban settings, the car could easily get 400 kilometers. And um, look, this is just a reality of what the situation is right now in 2020. Energy density has got to improve, I hope, and um, the Tesla um, battery day, uh, you know, investor day is coming up very, very soon. And who knows about what the Maxwell super capacitors is going to mean to uh, Teslas in the near future, and, and well, the EV industry in general. Look, really, really looking forward to that. Um, the car has been a real trooper. Absolutely love it. Uh, between the minimal, um, you know, minimal interior, uh, the way it drives, it accelerates. It's just infectious. Autopilot is king. It made driving yesterday so easy. It really, really did. Um, if you want to give a, a Tesla a try, do hit up the guys from Tesla uh, Taxi Australia. And hey, big thanks to you, Milan. Thanks for um, making this episode possible. Use my link down below to save yourself some money. And if you actually own a Tesla, he really does need people to get their cars out there. Um, so if you want to be of a side income or maybe even primary income, yeah, just, you know, ask Milan the question and he can help you out in that regard. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It really does support the channel. And if you do nothing, you'll be good and you'll be great.